Around IT in 256 seconds by Tomasz Nurkiewicz. Episode 55. Percentages. You might find this topic weird, but understanding percentages is crucial not only in banking. What does it mean when disk space decreased by 10%? How to scientifically measure relative system load? You'll learn that in the next four minutes. First of all, percentages are used to define a ratio of two values. For example, if your data uses 100 gigabytes out of 500 gigabytes on disk, it uses one fifth or 20%. 20% is basically the ratio between 100 and 500. The same applies to CPU load. Here, 80% means that for every 100 cycles, 80 are used for useful work. The remaining 20 is either waiting or simply being idle. More often, you'll hear about percentages when some value changes over time. For example, if your disk usage grew from 100 to 130 gigabytes, What's the relative increase? You divide 130 by 100 and get 1.3, or 130%. This means the new value is 130% of the initial value. This also means it grew by 30%. But that's not the most surprising thing with percentages. We said that the disk usage grew from 100 to 130 gigabytes, or by 30%. But what about the disk usage measured relatively to its size? It used to be 20%, 100 out of 500 gigabytes. Now it's 130 out of 500, or 26%. Now the question is, by how many percent did the disk usage grow? It increased from 20% to 26%, so the obvious answer is 6%, right? No, not at all. An increase by 6% means that the final value is 106% of the initial value. For example, if we had 20 kilograms of oranges, we now have 21.2 kilograms. If we had 20 volts in a circuit, there's 21.2 volts right now. You get the idea. So if initially the disk occupancy was 20%, what does an increase by 6% really mean? You guessed it, now it's 21.2%. This is very counterintuitive. That's why another unit was invented, percentage points. Percentage points describe the change of percents. In our example, a change from 20% to 26% means an increase by 6 percentage points. When interest rate on your loan grows from 3% to 3.1%, it grows by one tenth of a percentage point. Fractions of percentage points are very common. So another term to remember is basis point. One basis point is simply one hundredth of a percentage point. So an interest rate increase from 3% to 3.1% is an increase by 10 basis points. Thus, using percentages when describing a change from 20% to 26% makes sense. We know it's six percentage points. However, you can technically say an increase by 30% from 20% to 26%. But to be honest, it's just too confusing. To be effective when communicating, avoid being smart and confuse people. That's it. Thanks for listening. Bye.